हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल सो आई हैव कंप्लीटेड सम टॉपिक्स वेयर मेटल्स रिएक्ट विद अदर रिएजेंट्स लाइक एसिड्स वाटर एंड ऑक्सीजन हाउ दे रिएक्ट विद दिस रिएजेंट्स एंड आल्सो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ मेटल्स रिएक्ट विद मेटल्स टू द डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन आई हैव ऑल्सो एक्सप्लेन द रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज ऑफ मेटल्स सो इन टूडेज क्लास वील डिस्कस हाउ मेटल्स रिएक्ट विद नॉन मेटल्स so in my classes i like to give uh, small little examples for you all to remember this concept and also to understand it much better so we'll correlate very uh, small simple examples through your uh, to your uh, chemistry so consider a girl named pooja so she has around 8 biscuits that she has bought in her snack box okay so her friend who is divya has got around 4 biscuits in her box snack box so pooja and divya so pooja has around 8 biscuits and divya has got around 4 biscuits so divya feels a little hungry and uh, so pooja gives her shares with her biscuits so she gives her 2 biscuits so pooja gives divya 2 biscuits so here she has four biscuits and because pooja has more amount excess amount of snack that she has bought with her and she uh, feels hungry so she gives her two biscuits so this is 4 plus 2 that is 6 and here she has eight biscuits where she gives she uh, shares with her friend too so she is left with 6 so the similar thing happens with metals and non metals so pooja divya she has around 8 biscuits she gives her two biscuits because she is hungry and so both are happy because she is sharing pooja is sharing remember this sharing and divya is receiving so because she has more amount of biscuits brought in her uh, snack box she shares it with divya so she is the one who is sharing and divya is the one who is receiving so in this bargain both of them are happy because one is the uh, sharing and the other one is receiving so she also is happy because she is uh, left with six and pooja is also happy one is sharing one is receiving so the similar thing happens with metals and non metals so let us understand this that how sodium and chlorine they react so the same example this will be sodium and this will be chlorine so both become friends one is sharing one is receiving so this is how we'll understand so metals also non metals have names so sodium and chlorine let us understand this with a chemical representation and also in depth let us understand it so for this you all will require a basic understanding of electronic configuration of elements uh, which you have already studied in your previous classes so i will not go into uh, depth but uh, i will just briefly explain to you all with the help of example so consider sodium whose atomic number is 11 and uh, so this is the atom of sodium sodium element 
this is the nucleus and the nucleus it consists of protons nucleus consists of protons and there is equal number of protons um, in the nucleus and also in the shells of the atom so this is the nucleus it consists of 11 protons and there are shells surrounding the nucleus so uh, through the electronic configuration you will have studied and understood that there is a capacity of every shell to fill these electrons there is a specific capacity so beyond that it cannot accommodate more number of electrons so what happens is there are shells k l m so in the first shell which is a k shell it can accommodate it can fill maximum of two electrons okay so when these two electrons are filled in this k shell it gets full and then it goes to the next shell so the next one is l shell and l shell can accommodate maximum of 8 electrons so it's 2 electrons in the first shell and the second shell it is 8 electrons so the atomic number is 11 so one more electron has to be filled so this is the outermost shell and there is one electron so this electron in the outermost shell it's very unstable it's very uneasy so it wants to come out uh, it's very restless you can say this electron and so sodium loses that electron so let us understand this so by this you will have understood um, the representation of um, sodium where the nucleus in the nucleus they are protons and these all are electrons so now let us understand by a representation so the outermost shell which has one electron it loses that electron it uh, shares that electron and it gets a positive charge so this is called cation let us understand with the representation sodium it loses its electron in that outermost shell because it's unstable it's uneasy so it becomes sodium it becomes a ion it has a positive charge where it is called a cation so this is where sodium loses one electron this is the electron and sodium atom gets a positive charge which is called a cation and this is the electron so the atomic number of sodium is actually 11 but when it loses one electron so it gets a charge it becomes a ion a cation which is positive charge when it loses an electron and this is the representation so the shells are k l m so in k there is 2 in l there is 8 and in m there is 1 so when it becomes uh, loses an electron it will be 2 8 and one uh, electron okay 
and this will have a positive charge it gets a positive charge it is called a cation so what happens is sodium it loses an electron it gets a positive charge so the reverse happens with chlorine like i gave you all an example of the two girls pooja and divya one is sharing and the other is receiving so chlorine it has a atomic number of 17 uh this is the nucleus it has protons so the protons and the electrons are equal in an atom of an element so first shell k shell has two which is the maximum capacity to be filled electrons next shell is k l m shells next shell is having eight so next shell has eight electrons and the outermost shell m shell has around so it is 8 10 7 so so 2 8 and 7 so for the outermost shell to be filled completely its maximum capacity is 8 so it is lacking one electron so it is unstable so what happens is since i told you all sodium is having a cation where it has lost one electron so both of these one shares and one receives so let us understand this so chlorine in its m shell it is having one less shortage of one electron to be completely full so what happens it it borrows it borrows an electron because it is having short one short electron so chlorine whose atomic number is 17 it takes one electron for its outermost shell to be completely full and this becomes cl chlorine minus so it gets a charge and this is called an anion so sodium which is having um which has lost an electron is called a cation and chlorine is an anion so both of these react with each other like the example one is sharing and the other is receiving just like the example i gave you all of pooja and divya where one is sharing and the other is receiving so pooja and divya who were having biscuits of 8 and 4 so the same thing happens here it is sodium and here it is chlorine so i explain to you all how it gets a charge so when it loses an electron it gets a positive charge okay and when this chlorine gains an electron so sharing and receiving it gets a charge this is called a cation this is called an anion so sodium it loses an electron we we'll just understand it with the representation so it loses an electron so it gets a positive charge and chlorine chlorine receives this electron receives an electron and it gets a charge cl minus so one is cation one is anion so the same thing so both of these two 
आर वन इज पॉजिटिव वन इज नेगेटिव चार्ज सो पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव चार्जेस ऑलवेज अट्रैक्ट दे आर ऑपोजिटली चार्ज जस्ट लाइक अ बॉय एंड अ गर्ल आर एट्रैक्टेड टू ईच अदर इन अ क्लास सो पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव सो द सेम थिंग विथ मैग्नेट्स अ पॉजिटिव चार्ज पॉजिटिव साइड इज एट्रैक्टेड टू अ नेगेटिव पोल सो पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव दे एट्रैक्ट ईच अदर थ्रू इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्सेस एंड दे फॉर्म एन ए सी एल सो ह्यर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड हाउ एन ए सी एल इज फॉर्म्ड बिकॉज ऑफ पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव चार्जेस ऑपोजिट चार्जेस एट्रैक्ट जस्ट लाइक अ बॉय इज अट्रैक्टेड टू अ गर्ल एंड अ गर्ल इज अट्रैक्टेड टू अ बॉय ऑपोजिट्स एट्रैक्ट सो सेम थिंग विथ नेगेटिव पोल एंड पॉजिटिव पोल ऑल्सो विथ मैग्नेट्स पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव सो बोथ आर एट्रैक्टेड बोथ कंबाइंड टूगेदर एंड दे फॉर्म एन ए सी एल सो दिस इज सो इंटरेस्टिंग वेन वी अंडरस्टैंड केमिस्ट्री मच इन डेप्थ इन डिटेल इट्स वेरी सिंपल टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट यू विल डेफिनेटली अंडरस्टैंड द रिएक्शन सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स इन दिस चैप्टर then uh, do drop your comments below i will try to reply to you all at the earliest so i'll see you all in my next topic